Okay, um, well, some people will probably absolutely hate this idea, but what I did is um, I, I bought some cool tins and I haven't been able to decide what I'm gonna go with for my 2332, just the stock uh, deflector plates or with the cool tins. And I've heard, read a bunch of things about cool tins being too restrictive and um, why put a type three thing on a type one and it weren't designed for it, et cetera, et cetera. So, I just was looking at them just to kind of see what the difference was. Now these I've modified now, but they used to have um, both these things curved up and on the outside I cut off some metal which also curved up. So these two holes were basically blocked. You know, the air would come down, swoop, and it would get blocked to come back up, which did seem like it could be restrictive. But then what I did is I took this the deflector plate and I put it on there. What I realized is, you know, this is what the difference is. Basically, once you, I bent these flaps straight down so that they mimic the type one deflector plates and they're just smaller. Um, but then on, on this side, I basically cut off the flap here, which was about, you know, almost an inch worth of curved up metal there. So that leaves me with something that looks like this, which is just a little smaller than what the stock deflector plate would be. And then there's nothing here that keeps the air from just escaping. Uh, it's, it's, it's wider, but then it does come up around the outside here because the outsides of the cylinders are what don't get cooled. So, you know, whether I do this or not, I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you know pretty good design. Of course, why would I try to improve on the um, VW engineers? But I am really like looking at this as it's it's close to the same thing. Um, so I saw uh, the way that uh, folks were putting these cool tins on is they would take a wire like this. I put two holes in each end here, here and here, and then I put two holes here in the middle. So what I can do is I can basically, once my cylinders are on, I can take this, I can go uh, from the one side, feed it around and uh, go around the individual cylinders um, and then come back up like this, go around the other cylinder and then come back down and uh, feed it basically here. And then what I was doing is just doing this sort of twisty twist off thing. This is pretty strong wire. So I think that would hold it in place pretty well. Certainly better than just the clips that, you know, are normally used. So I think I'm going to probably, you know, I'm going to think about this a little bit more. Uh, somebody else had done some modified uh, cool tins that were much more dramatically cut out than mine, but um, I kind of like the idea. And honestly, I, uh, I'm, uh, so I, I also bent these clips down a little bit more to mimic what the uh, what the deflector plates do, and so kind of like the idea. I, I don't think it's going to cool much worse if it does cool worse, so I'll probably will use them. But you know, I'll make that decision when we get there. So that's cool tins. I got them both here done, and then uh, the other thing that I wanted to say is that I I figured one thing out that had been bugging me. I said something on a pr prior video, which is. I couldn't figure out what this thing fit onto. Um, and so I, you know, everybody else probably knew, but I figured out <laughs> that it must fit on here. And then when this guy here goes on uh, here, it actually seals the air. And I guess this goes through there and then this will seal better um, through that. I guess you call that the front, the front side uh, tin. So, that's this, this rubber thing here and the rest of it. You know, I put the sponges in there and there and I have this, the straightaway one going here. And so I think I've done that all now correctly. So, all right. Um, so that's what I got, cool tins and this uh, rubber 